When it comes to lupus, most people think of the ANA test as the ultimate deciding factor. And while it's true that a positive ANA is often associated with lupus, the reality is more complicated. A negative ANA doesn't automatically rule out lupus, and here's why. That ANA test is far from perfect. It's been a cornerstone of lupus diagnosis for decades, but we have to understand that not all methods of detecting the ANA are created equal. The gold standard is the IFA method, but now we are commonly using an ELISA or multiplex assay, and all of these different ways of testing the ANA can really muddy up the picture. Not every testing method is as precise as the other. This variability in testing can lead to a lot of false negatives. And to make things even more confusing, some lupus patients have other antibodies, like the anti-double-stranded DNA or anti-Smith, and those can be positive even when an ANA is negative. So how do we approach this practically? Well, when the blood test results are confusing, it's to me just a reminder that we are putting too much emphasis on the results in the first place. So. I go back to the basics. Put the results aside and just ask, how are you feeling? We dig into symptoms and family history and I like to pretend like I don't even know what the results say. Then I can approach testing the way it should be approached, which is with a strong sense of suspicion. After digging into symptoms, I'll have thoughts about whether or not it sounds like autoimmune, and I can then base my testing on those suspicions. Listen, the bottom line is this. Understanding your test results is crucial, but so is focusing on your symptoms and working closely with your doctor. To make a lupus diagnosis, it's not always straightforward, but persistence and the right information can really make all the difference. Follow if you want to hear more about lupus and all things rheumatology, and have a great day.